Right at Rain Shadow Disc Golf Park. There's the map. And there's the holes. Four par fours. No, what? Yeah, four par fours. The rest par threes. Not real long, but challenging. Lots of trees, obviously. And they got scorecards for you. Hole one, 224, par three, downhill. Putter shot, birdie or die. Here we go. Watch out, Ozzy. Watch out, boy. All right, hole two, par four, 468. Just want a par here. This is a tough one. That's a mando for people that want to throw over these trees, which is not something I can do and not too many people can, but we just want to throw it down by that corner there where those rocks are, if you can see them. You want the tee shot over here, so when well, I'm 10 feet too far, but it uh, turns this into a standstill forehand flex shot versus a backhand. So here we go. And I got a nice kick. Wasn't that nice? All right. Being here in two is fine. No problem. That's all I was expecting. We just need to get up by the basket. Stop. Stop. Too far. Too far. In. All right, third hole, 203 uphill. Uh, for me, a full uh, any backhand shot. And we want a birdie on this hole. We want a birdie. We'll see how it bounced. See how close we are. 
Okay, we got a good bounce. All right, on the hole four, this is another kind of must birdie hole. And kind of like the diagram's drawn, you need the backhand flex shot at this one. We're gonna throw my zone at it, the putter. And there's the basket down there. So you gotta get through these trees, head it to the right a little bit, and then have it go to the left at the end and hopefully not skip past the basket. All right, here we go. I'm going to be lucky to get a par from here, but we will obviously try. Rolled away a bit, but hopefully we can make that. All right, two down after four, that's good. Now on to five, which is a, it, it's got more of a right hand turn to it than that thing's showing you a lot more actually. Here. So the fairway's that way and you gotta turn right and it's downhill. So we gotta throw a low backhand shot or that's uh, kind of on an ante that's gonna hold the ante too. And I'll show you the, the tunnel uh, when we're getting down there that we're trying to shoot for. All right, we're throwing my orange red ro road runner at this thing. That's a bummer, it's all wet right there. Annie, backhand Annie. Hold it, you gotta hold this thing. We'll give it a flip. Give it a All right, well, based on where I, when I heard the smash, we got reasonably far down there. That should be good. Give us a chance for a bird. So there's the tee back by the dogs. And there's the pin down there. Oops. So I should have missed that opening to the right, unfortunately. So we gotta go find it now. Well, I got lucky and it was an easy one to find. That'll do the trick. This is a par four which seems a little unfair given that I'm right there in two, but it is what it is and I'll take it. Well, six, par three, two, 16, but it's way uphill. 
So this is uh, like so far uphill, it's like, if I can get two thirds of the way there, it's good. And hopefully stay in the fairway. All right, my 155 gram road runner, Starlight. And we're gonna use it on this hole and we're gonna try to throw a backhand ante a decent way up the hill. That was not even close to good. Dang it. All right, not a good spot. Sorry about missing that last shot. Come on, baby. One more. All right, this is our top of the world shot at this course. Fairway is narrow down there. It falls way off to the left and right, actually, for that matter. But the pin's off to the left, and it falls off to the left. Uh, but it's real steep, and you never know where your disc will be if it heads off out of the fairway to the left because you can't see it, and there's a lot of trees and brush and stuff like that so here we go all right I set the di the camera up front so you can see where the disc goes a little too high way off to the left Get into the trees. We'll just have to see how we are. Who knows? All right, so T is up there. I came around these trees and hit down into this mess. And so I will go look for it and I'll show you where we end up. Unfortunately, I don't see it yet. And there's the basket over there so it's not too far away it didn't take too long it's up in the tree all right at this point i'm playing for par but i am going to try to give this a full shot I like that, but I think it went too far. There's crap behind the basket. All right, I'm in jail. It's the first time I've been in this jail.
might as well try. I should have had my rain jacket on for that one. <sighs> All right, hole eight. By the way, seven was a par four. It doesn't seem like it should have been, but it is. So I'm three under after seven, which is good. But this is where it gets hard for me anyway. Seven or eight. You got like a 20 foot fairway with a big fall off on either side and uphill. And I don't throw this one well normally, so let's see what we can do. Pretty typical. Pretty typical. All right, well, I found it at least, and here we go. Hopefully we hear some change on this. I can see that. Nope. About close enough. I'll take a par in this hole every day. Oh. All right, number nine. This should be a really easy par three. Just a forehand flick with my destroyer that starts flat and dives to the right. You know, 90% power. Should be a birdie every time. You can't see the pin from here because it's around the trees, but it's not too far away. All right, well, that's right about 20 feet. Hopefully, it just dug in and stopped. That might do the trick. Right, here we go. This one's a bit of a death putt, but you can't quite see that. It dropped off over there. Four down. Front nine. All right, this is 10. It's a short par three. Tee pad's over there. Pin is down there. I'm going to just throw a backhand putter hyzer at it. All right, here we go. That was terrible. Terrible. God dang. Well, I got lucky it wasn't any worse than what it is. See if I can get it down there by the pin.
Hopefully it didn't roll away. That one did end up by the basket, so that's good. And this is definitely a birdie hole, but I got a par. All right, this is the last of our par fours. 433, so not real long, but uh, as you can see in the fairway, it goes out a little to the left, then to the right, and as it goes down to the right, it gets to the bottom of the hill. And what you want to do is be at the bottom of the hill off your tee shot, which is a forehand, slightly flexed destroyer. Good. Should be. We'll see. All right, that's where you want it. That's just about perfect. Which gives me a, hopefully an easy shot up to get my birdie. T is back that way. And around that corner right there. It came down, flexed out. No. Kaisered out and ended up in a good spot. Of course, it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. I'll take that. Take that for sure. All right, down and to the right. And after you turn the corner, it's actually quite a ways to the right. So you gotta keep it flying for a while. That was good. It'll be to the left of the pin, probably 30 or 40. Here's what you see when you come around the corner. Tee pad up there. Plenty of trees. I think I went right through here. And 25 to the left. Short little par three, obviously lots of trees because that's where we're at. Hopefully you can see the basket up there. This probably, most people probably throw a back end hyzer at it. You know. All right, this hole 13, bummer I missed a putt on the last hole. Par 358, a little uphill and a lot around the trees. And probably mostly a backhand hyzer shot, but I'm going to throw a forehand flex at it so that it's kind of landing flat when it gets down by the pin, and hopefully it will stay there. Flex. 
flexed out a little too much, but it's okay. Definitely right. let's not miss this one. Right in. All right, heading into 14, we're sixth down, which is awesome for me, probably the best I've ever done. If I can remain even for the rest of the way, that'd be good because the holes get tough now. So 14, 306, par three, kind of a tunnel shot down to the pin down there. I'll throw my Mamba, try to flip it up to flat and see if I can get it down. There. All right, it wasn't really a good spot to put the camera to, so you can see the basket sitting. Sit. Sit. Simple. So, but here it goes. Hit a tree about 30 out, bounce back, but I'll take that. That's pretty typical for me. Doesn't quite flip up the flat. We're about 40 out with a tree in the way. Hole 15, 300 feet dog leg left. Kind of, it's a little to the right and then the left. And this is a booger because it's uphill. I mean, it's like a par. It's as hard as a par four is for me. There's no coming close to this basket. So there's the fairway. You want to be on the right side to approach the basket because the basket's up to the left. And if you get on the left side, then it's too tight. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to throw a forehand up at this one because I'm more interested in accuracy than distance. I can't get there. So we'll see what we can do. Not good. I don't think you'll be able to see me, but I'm, there was no good place to set up the camera back there.
I don't know if it stopped rolling yet. There it is. All right, well, now I got a long putt for bogey. Boo. Double. All right, what's well, a double? Bum bummer, I got a double bogey. Four under now, but here we go. 16, another tough one. 311, but uphill. So this one is another one that's not reachable for me. I don't think I've ever birdied this one. But ideally for me, throw through that left gap on a forehand hyzer. I kind of just aim up the middle though, to be honest with you, and hope it goes through one of the gaps up there. Almost. That's the middle where you gotta get lucky to get through and I wasn't lucky. Yeah, it's the kind of shot you wanna stay away from, but I got it. Through the trees. Back hand, Annie, just a little bit, please. Stop now. Stop. I'll take that. I'll take it. Probably 30 out though. All right, 17, it's a par three, 260, kind of over a ravine. I'm saying maybe a little downhill, but uh, you gotta throw it on the hyzer, so. All right, here we go. Hopefully we can get a birdie here. I used to get birdies, I haven't been doing it lately. Might be close. We'll see. We'll see. Choked. Choked. Ha! All right, four down coming to 18, which is good. 
30 would maybe be my best. I'm not sure if I've ever shot five down. There's the hole. It's just sitting right there. It's a full mid-range for me. 186 up the hill. All right, so I'm throwing the Emac Truth at this thing. I, mean, I actually have three of these. So I'm going to throw them all since this is the last hole, but the orange one's the one I'm playing. Try not to run up so it's aggressive. That's a birdie. That's a birdie. Dang it. Well, at least I can see the disc. So let's see if I can get down there. Should get close and get my car. I made one from down here one time. Uh-oh, I don't see the disc. Oh, it's close, it's close, thank God. All right. All right. Here we go, I'll just walk over here and put it in. Here we go. All right, that's it. Four down, that's good. <laughs> 